Do you think old Gorilla Tag was better? If you ask this question to the majority of Gorilla Tag players, most will say yes. But was Gorilla Tag really better back then, or is that opinion just nostalgia driven? In the beginning of Gorilla Tag, it was just a silly little game where you could play tag with your friends, with simple mechanics, and with a simple and nice community. But as Gorilla Tag grew in popularity, so did the community and the game itself. In the early days, Gorilla Tag had a small community that was focused on fun and meeting new people. Players connected over shared experiences, forming bonds that made the game more than just a pastime, such as VMT and J-Man Curly. The early community had a sense of friendship and mutual respect for one another that made it special. However, as the game's popularity exploded, the community dynamics shifted. With the influx of new players, the atmosphere changed. Many new players arrived into the community, specifically during Christmas, that slowly made their way into the community and began to break it apart. Toxic behavior, such as trash talking, griefing, and harassment, became more common. The game's competitive nature, combined with the ability to say horrible things online without much consequence, led to an environment where negative behavior could thrive. Many of the older players felt that the increase of toxicity has eroded the sense of peace that once defined Gorilla Tag. Content creation has played a huge role in Gorilla Tag's growth. Content creators were key in spreading word about the game, showcasing its unique mechanics and the fun to be had. Videos were often focused on the gameplay itself, how to get better, tips and tricks, and funny moments shared among friends. But as Gorilla Tag changed, so did the content surrounding the game. For some, this shift in content has diluted the original spirit of Gorilla Tag, turning it from a game about fun and connection into a platform for conflict and controversy. Another noticeable shift in Gorilla Tag is the maturity of its players. The original player base was generally older and more focused on the game's mechanics and community. This brought a level of maturity to the interactions, with players being more respectful and considerate. Today, with the game attracting a younger audience, the maturity level has dropped. Younger players often bring energy and enthusiasm, but this can also lead to more chaotic and disruptive gameplay. For many of the older players, this shift has been one of the most significant changes in the game altering the overall experience and making it worse. So, was Gorilla Tag really better back then? Or are these thoughts just driven by nostalgia? It's easy to look back on the past with rose-colored glasses, remembering only the good times. Nostalgia is powerful, and it can make us long for a version of the game that may never truly have existed. However, the concerns raised by veteran players aren't without mercy. The changes in the community, the increase in the drama and toxicity, and the shift in the player maturity level have undeniably altered the Gorilla Tag experience. Whether you think these changes are for better or for worse depends on your perspective.